Today, we take a look at the brand new Wham Bam Resin Hot Box. I think you're gonna love it. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. The resin hot box comes flat packed like you see here, and all you have to do is fold it open and zip it together. That's uh, pretty much all the assembly that you need to do to get it built. Now it's 580 by 330 by 330 millimeters when it's fully built, and that's big enough for something like the Saturn II and those style printers as well. There's a full list of compatible printers on the website below, and you can see that in the description. But I think this thing is a pretty good size for what it is. The package also includes this USB extender, which allows you to bring the USB from your printer on the inside of the box right to the front of the box. I really like this because then you can take your USB, plug it straight in, and you don't have to go inside and find the USB wherever it is located on your resin printer. To install it, it's super easy. All you have to do is screw off the back nut, push it through the little hole, screw the back nut back on, and don't forget to plug it into your printer. It has a large UV protective window in the front, and this whole flap is held down by magnets. When you're ready to pop it up, you just pull it up like this, and there's Velcro that holds it to the top of the enclosure so it doesn't fall down while you're working. I particularly like this because it gives you a nice large area to work on your printer, and then it just pops right down, and the magnets drop in place when you're done. Since mini resins print better at specific temperatures, Wham Bam has thrown in a built-in thermometer right here in the top of the case, and it allows you to easily monitor the temperature inside of your hot box. Also, don't forget you need to get batteries for that, and I'll put the size and a link in the description below. I didn't have them on me, that's why it's not lit up right now, but they'll be here tomorrow when I get them from Amazon. <laughs> Along with the handle at the top right here, that allows you to lift off the enclosure from your printer anytime you need to. It includes a exhaust port in the back. All you do is flip this open and the port is ready. If you wanna throw some sort of exhaust in here and throw it out a window or into a different room, however you wanna do it. And also a cable pass through down here. When you use the cable pass through, the nice thing is when your cable is in here, you can still lift off the box and put it back down without actually taking the cable off and on the whole time. Now the exhaust port here, you'll have to pull out whatever pipe you have in there if you wanna actually take this and lift it off but I believe what will happen is people will just print something that will push in right here and connect to maybe an inline blower and then go wherever it needs to so you can pull and push that in pretty easily. Now the Wham Bam resin hot box is made out of a 600D polyester fabric which is known to be very durable used in a lot of household and outdoor goods. It also has a fire resistant coating on it and on the inside it has a metallic heat deflecting liner as you can see here which will help keep all that heat inside of there and keep temperatures inside more consistent especially when that front door shut. Now it actually uses the heat of the machine and the reaction from the UV curing resin to heat up the inside of the chamber but if you wanted to get a little resin chamber heater or a little heater of choice you could always throw it in here as long as there's room around your printer and that should keep it nice and warm on the inside as well. If you're getting value out of today's video, I invite you to smash that like button. That helps the video spread out through the community. Also, if you wanna see more great content like this, which we have coming up, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Now back to it. Now, one of my favorite features of the Wham Bam Resin Hot Box are these two loops right here. They actually hold a USB light just like this one. And this one specifically comes from Wham Bam. It has 600 lumens to light up the inside really nicely, an eight foot cable, and best of all, a UV protective coating on the light so it won't cure your resin while you're watching your machine work or while you have the light on. The only thing you need to know about this particular light is that you'll need to supply your own little USB uh, power adapter and it needs more than one amp. Uh, so anything bigger than one amp, you wanna make sure to power this with. But other than that, it's really cool. You slide the light in, you turn it on, and it really lights up that chamber. Something quick that I should note is that Peter gave me this resin hot box at EARF, the East Coast Rep Rap Festival, when I saw him there. And this is a pre-production unit. The actual production units will have a bigger front door to allow those larger build plate printers easier access out of the front of the machine. So uh, if you're wondering why this is not quite as big as maybe the pictures you see, it's because this is a pre-production unit and the front door will be uh, bigger than this on the production units. The other awesome thing that I wanna bring up about the hot box is it allows you to keep the cover off of your printer. Uh, you know those covers can kind of get fiddly when they're on and, and you don't really have access when they're on. 
Well, you throw this over the top of your printer without the cover on it, you have that easy access door, and it's just much easier to gain access to the front of the printer, no matter what you need to do in there. And you don't have to worry about taking the cover on and off all the time. Also, this will protect against splashes just like the cover does. It'll just go on the inside, so make sure you check that out. Take this thing off once in a while and just give it a good wipe down with IPA to, to keep it clean on the inside. Make sure there's not too much splashing going on because resin printers do splash more than you'd think. <laughs> The other thing I highly suggest you check out are one of their mega slap mats. That's what they got right here. This is a silicone mat. Uh, these things clean up super easily, especially with resin on them. If you've ever used resin uh, and you've used a silicone mat, you know how easy it is just to wipe off or clean cured resin right off of this. Uh, you could throw it in the sun, cure it, and then pull the resin right off. But you'd lay it down on the table like that throw your printer on and then set this right on over the top. And you have yourself a nice resin area under the printer. Uh, it extends out into the front. So when you do any of your project stuff, you can actually set the build plate and everything right there. But it's just a super convenient thing to have and it protects whatever surface that you're printing on as well. And if you have a spill, everybody hates spills, but it happens. If you have a spill, this will protect it and you'll be able to dump it or wipe it off, whatever you need to do to clean it up way easier than on a regular old workbench or table. So at the time of recording, the Wham Bam Resin Hot Box and the USB Lite with the UV protective coating on it are both available for pre-order on Wham Bam's website. I know they're shipping soon in early November here, uh, but the link is in the description below for these. And if you're looking for a mega slap mat like this one, uh, you can always find it on their website as well. I'll put the link down there for this but they have this size and they also have some smaller sizes if you're interested in those too. Let me know in the comments if this is something you would use, if it would make your resin process easier and what you think overall about what I'm showing here. Let me know what you think in the comments below.